Good evening or good afternoon, everyone. It's Susan Kennedy from the Gold Coast in Australia and very happy to be here today. I've just had a few days away myself in New South Wales, so I've come back and ready to take some callers very soon. So as usual, uh, my show is all about living and loving life, and I really believe that we're here to create heaven on earth. So it's all about how finding ways every day to actually be happy. So this week I just was guided before the show to talk a little bit about celebration. Now why is that so important? Well it's my birthday next week so I've already started the celebrations and the big thing is that I've realized a lot of us aren't really very happy to celebrate ourselves. I love my birthday. It's a great time. I really enjoy the attention. I enjoy sharing my time with friends. And I look at people that I work with, you know, I look at all of the energy when I'm teaching. And very often people are afraid to shine or they're afraid to really celebrate who they are. So the guidance this week is to really learn how to celebrate yourself. And the way that you do that, I think, is just by being thankful and by accepting invitations. So after this show, I'm about to go out and have lunch with a very dear friend. But one of the things I realized as well is that, you know, friendships are such a great gift in our life. And if you want to celebrate your life, spend it with friends because friends will really be honest with you. A good friend will be honest with you. They'll tell you if you're on track. They'll be there for you when you're sad and they'll be there for you when you're happy. And a good friend doesn't abandon you. So I have a mentoring system and in my mentoring system with my ladies, they have what we call a buddy system where they call each other every day. But you know, the good thing about the buddy system is that your buddy doesn't let you down. Your friend doesn't let you down. They're there for you in good times and in bad. So it's all about doing that for yourself as well. So using your friendships to create more balance, more harmony in your life so that you can really celebrate who you are, celebrate your successes. Sometimes, you know, if you're, if you're doing something and you, you want to really know if you're on track, ask one of your good friends and they'll tell honestly whether you're on track. And it's with your friends. You can say, hey, I did this and I did it really well. And it's so important for you to be able to practice how to celebrate yourself, how to celebrate success so that you become someone that thinks you're pretty good, that you can allow yourself success, that you can allow yourself to really celebrate who you are because each and every one of you are amazing, amazing people. But often you don't believe it, you don't say it, and therefore it's very hard to accept praise from someone else. So the call to action this week is to look at ways you can celebrate yourself, look at ways you can bring more friendship into your life. So, you know, ringing up a friend that you haven't seen for ages. Friendships take effort. They take time. But when you put stuff into a friendship, when you put energy in, it's amazing what you can get back. And, you know, if you're the kind of friend that's always doing things for others, then ask your friends to reciprocate and say, hey, you know, how about we go do something together? But that you really find the time to nurture and honour the friendships in your life. And sometimes it means letting go of some friendships and being open to new ones. I've made some amazing new friends this year and I'm really always astounded how quickly I can form a friendship with someone and what value they bring into my life and hopefully what value I bring into their life as well. So friendships are probably the biggest gift you can give yourself. And with that, it will bring just more balance, more harmony into your world so that you're not just taking on too much work. You're not taking on too much pressure in your family. You're not taking on too much of anything, but you're finding that harmonious balance by sharing your life, having these friendships, and really celebrating what life's all about. So I'm hoping now that I've got a caller here soon because normally Dave, my producer, types up a name and says I've got somebody waiting so I can just see he's doing that. Oh, wow, this is interesting because I've got Willow in Vancouver and I do actually know a Willow, but I'm not sure it's the same lady. So hi, Willow, how are you today? I am I'm good. I'm, I'm dealing with a lot of the vibrations um, with the serious doorway opening and 
everything that's been going on, the shifting, and I'm in seventh right. Actually, I'm in eighth right now, between seventh and eighth. Okay. And yeah. uh, I'm, huh? You're not the willow that I met in England recently, are you? No, no, I miss England. No, I used okay. to live there. Maybe I was there astrally. I don't know. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> That's okay. So how can I help you today? What's your, what is, what's your so, question or how could I? So my thing is, right, is I've just had universe, like, slapping me in all these different directions. <laughs> I, know, I, I know you're feeling this and you're probably getting visions of this. And, it, yeah. and it's really hard when you can't read your own life. You can read for everybody else, but you can't read your yeah. own life. Um, yeah. In yeah. the last in the last three years, I've lost two babies. I've just been knocked down time after time again. I think I'm on the right track. I'm just I don't know. I guess yeah. kind of more looking more for validation, reassurance. And, yeah, look, yeah. I, I know that you are on the right track, and, and really you do too. But the hardest thing is that when you're doing this kind of work. You can get so caught up in it that you you tend to push everything else aside, and you get very focused, and you you really pay a lot of attention to detail. Is how I see you, you know, someone that really um, wants everything to be very perfect in a way. And I feel like it's just time for you to take a step back a little bit, but I know definitely you're on track. Now, is there a move of house around you at the moment as well, or premises? I'm, I'm sorry, what was that? Is there a move of premises or house? Are you contemplating you know, a move? It's really, it's really funny that you bring that up because I'm actually in the middle of two lawsuits right now that will actually manifest the money for me to move to the coast. And yep. that, that's what we're trying to do is we're trying to get to the coast, but yep. my lawyer's not exactly working as fast as we'd like her to. Yeah. So the change is going to happen very quickly. I know at the moment... Um, it's just that what I feel is that you've done a lot of great work and I feel that you've actually made a huge commitment to yourself and that you've done a lot of work on yourself. You know, I feel like you've got things in order from the past is how I see it. And I feel like all the ducks are lined up for you because I know that there's celebration coming. I know that it's the time right now to really totally trust in your belief in yourself and in your future because I know it's there. You know, I, I always do a card spread before the reading as well, just to give me that insight as well and a little bit of help. But I know that this is, um, it's all about to fall into place. So, so there, the there is a baby coming here apparently then, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 there is. There's, there's money coming. It's the right time for the move. There's a lot of celebration. Needs a little, you know, everything's showing me. I use the inner child tarot, by the way. And just such you, beautiful, you beautiful cards. And the outcome, I don't know if you come back and watch the, um, watch the video, but the outcome is the, um, I've got the Mother Goose card, which virtually says everything, you have everything that you need. And it's all about abundance. But I am very drawn with it to, the, to a move and also feeling like this is such a time for you to create a new offering with your work as well. I feel like I'm really going to step into it in a different way. And I feel like I'll be stepping up more, speaking more, um, doing things in a very different way. Now, do you, do you do psychic art as well? Yes, I do. That's the reason why I'm going nuts because I can't read my own life. Okay. I've been helping. I, I'm a Reiki master and I am a yep. I am clairvoyant. And yep. it's... It, it, me nuts because you know the card where we have to reach outside of ourselves. We, we just can't yes. get our own answers. Yeah. And so, yeah. So the thing that I see for that, though, what I'm sensing is that there is a time when you have to just trust and know that you are on the right path. I'm going through a very similar thing myself at the moment. And the, uh, the essence of trust is I have a feeling, I have a knowing, and I don't know what the answers are. And one of the reasons I get that that's important more for us than anybody else is because if we know what's going to happen, in a way we, we limit ourselves. <laughs> and it's really amazing that life is not linear as you know. So as you take one step forward with trust and one door opens, 
it's as though there are many more opportunities opening for you. So I feel that there are many more opportunities and it probably won't go exactly the way you think it will. So therefore, it's about being very open. But I know that your work is really um, about to take on a whole new level. And That's what I've been afraid of. <laughs> Yeah. And it's for it. I mean, interesting, it's, as I'm even saying it, I'm looking out my window because I, I always open my blinds when I read and there's three birds just flown by and I never see birds flying by and it's sort of like they're just flying and they're saying it's going to be easy. you know. So you've got to go on the upcurrent of things, but your work will change, it will expand. And I think your biggest fear is that you'll get overwhelmed. That is true or the wrong answers because I, I do a lot I do second guess myself quite a bit and I'm actually working with the gentleman right now that yep. is definitely expanding my work <laughs> good well the, the whole thing for you then would be to um, to just trust in this process and I do feel that you're very clairvoyant so that that's been one of your strongest skills but my sense is that the clairaudience and all the other things are going to really jump in you know in a big way, and especially just your knowingness, because that's a hard thing when we just have knowingness without really knowing where it comes from. It's like, my goodness, where did that come from? How do I know that? I don't know. That's but been so happening must... a lot, a lot. So yeah. you are giving me all the reissues that I'm not going crazy. <laughs> no, you're not. And, and what I'm, one of the other things I'm seeing is it's like this is a key for you. It's actually a key to going into a different kind of way of working because what I know is as well that energetically when we do this work, we can use a lot of our own physical energy because of the, the way that our body has to use energy in order to do things. When you move more into knowingness, by the way, this is a reading for me as well. I'm discovering, as you know, that's how it works. But when you yeah. move more into knowingness, it actually uses less physical energy and less emotional energy from you. So you're definitely going to have the, um, the energy to do it. You are on track with what you're doing. And very much I feel that with, as you use your voice more, the images will come anyway and will come clearer. And it's as though you're working with a lot of um, new symbols and things as well. So I know it's all going to be a really amazing time for you. And I do feel that also ties in with relationship for you as well. So I know that at some level there is a new energy with relationship that all of this is going to bring to. My, my husband is actually becoming more, um, he's been very supportive, which was yeah. really surprising to me. Um, and he's, he's just as anxious to move as I am because we, we feel like there's literally a light over that town saying this is home. Yeah. And, you yeah. Know, it, that's um, interesting as well because I was actually seeing a lighthouse. So I don't know whether that's symbolic or not, but in my mind I keep seeing this lighthouse as well. So my feeling is that wherever you go, it's going to have a view of the ocean. It's going to be very big. It's going to be big enough to do workshops as well. And I feel like your husband is going to find you know, between you, you're going to find a lot more um, satisfaction. And he must really love cars as well, I feel, because I feel oh, like, God, you know, yes. he, <laughs> yeah, so he's going to really have like his pride and joy, you know, and he's, he's really going to have that satisfaction of seeing you happy and of him being in his joy as well. So, look, I wish you well with it. And the main thing is just trust, know that the work you're doing with this chap is really good and that you are on track and that you're going to bring a lot more to the world. So I wish you well with it, Willow. Can I Thanks ask for you coming one, on. one, yeah? can I ask you one yeah? quick thing? Do you see a baby in my future? With, the, with me losing two, I'm kind of losing hope. Yeah, um, my feeling is yes, that there is okay. one there. And the other thing I get is don't, and I'm not sure that the baby will come to you naturally, but I do see you with a child. So don't dismiss fostering or, or adoption, but I definitely do see you with a child because I went straight away though to a child that was perhaps six months old. So I know that there is a child there for you. So don't give up, um, keep all of that going. And I know that you're going to be a great mum. So thank you so much. You just, made my night you are very welcome and i wish you well so have a lovely evening over there thank you willow yeah, you okay all right so now i've got
Cathy in New South Wales. So what, from where I've just come from, probably. Whereabouts are you from, Cathy? Oh, do we? Oh, okay. Um, okay, so I'm just going to chat because my New South Wales lady just got lost, um, which is interesting because I've just come back from New South Wales and had a beautiful time down in Newcastle teaching Reiki, um, running my mentoring group, talking to people about how they can change their lives through using their intuition and, of course, doing readings, doing healings and just doing what I do and loving what I do. So um, what else can I talk about? Let's talk a little bit more about the – oh, okay, so she's there now. So, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Yes. Hi. How are Susan, you? How are you? I'm well. How are well, you? Well, thank you. So whereabouts are you from? From Australia. Yeah, I've just been in New South Wales. Where are you? I'm in mean Warren in New South Wales. Oh, beautiful. Okay, well, I was just in Newcastle. I just got that last night. So how can I help you today, Cathy? Um, I was just wanting to try and connect with my best friend that was suddenly passed away 12 months ago. Okay. This is a lady? Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, let me just see. Okay. And is, was she in um, health care or something as well? Um, no, she did pass away in the hospital. Um, yeah. She had she cancer. She wasn't involved in nursing. Um, yeah, okay. No, right. yeah, no. No, okay. I'm just, well, I was just given that image there as well. And is there, is, there's not, she's not Mary as well? No, she's not Maori. Uh, she's Aboriginal. No, no. Okay. All right. So when I, um, as I feel with her, let me just see and get her closer as well. All right. Well, my feeling is that the two of you had a very close friendship, which is interesting because I was talking about friendships today. And I feel that she was someone as well, if I can say, that would have... Um, she also feels like... Yeah, sorry. I am just just have to really feel her and sense her. Okay. This takes a little while sometimes with the mediumship. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Do you know, my sense is her eyes were the big thing that you were very drawn to as well. Would you recognise what beautiful eyes she had? Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. Yeah. Because I feel she was someone that, if I could say, it would be like she could see into your soul. You know, it's as though that she oh, was yeah, beautiful yeah. with her eyes, but it's like she had a very deep connection as well with being able to really see and to listen because I feel that yeah. she went through a lot in her life. I, don't, I know that she passes with the cancer, but I do feel that she would have had a lot of health issues in her life before that. Um, yep. So I know that, yeah, she had a lot of, um, I guess, a lot of pain, but a lot of wisdom as well. And mm -hmm. um, do, you, do you have a bracelet of hers or did she have a bracelet or something that you both? I have a ring of hers. Okay. I was, I was drawn to a bracelet, but a ring, yes, it was just like I was being very drawn to the one I have, which it was given to me by a dear friend and it was given to me for my birthday. And it's, it's got some beautiful writing on it, some beautiful inscription on it. So I feel yeah. like when you're with, yeah, so with that, the, the words that come are, um, it's, it's a little bit like live your life with happiness, you know, because I know with you that you think a lot about her and I know that you, um, so and are, are they're children of hers as well. Yep. 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 Because I feel that you have a lot to do with them. I sure do. Yeah. So she's very grateful for that, very um, appreciative of what you do because it feels like you were one of the people that really um, she could rely on, she could depend on, and she knows Most that definitely. you... definitely. Yeah. So I, I know that she is really thankful for what you're doing because I feel particularly... Now, is there a daughter that's struggling at the moment of hers? Yes, mate. Yep. Yep. Yeah. 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 So I know that um, 
that this is um, a big thing, that she's very grateful that you're there for her. And I feel like that young lady has um, a little bit of depression, um, a little bit of sadness, and obviously if it's only 12 months, she'd be missing her mum a lot. Um, I'm very yeah. drawn to angels around this little girl as well. I don't think she's so little, but, you know, I'm very drawn to the angelic realms around her. And I feel that that's, you know, that she would have her own communication with her mum. So I'm feeling as well that there's some sort of ceremony that you're either about to do or going to do or that, you, you know, that is going to be like a commemoration. So because yep. I'm very drawn as, as well to the sort of, crystal, not the crystal bowls, but Tibetan bowls and things. And I feel like I want to be down by some water somewhere. And I know that there's going to be a beautiful celebration of her life, um, even though, you, you've already had that. It feels like there needs to be one that is outside, that is very beautiful, you know, that's very peaceful. And I feel like um, for that that young lady, she has that very strong connection, but she also really needs you as well. So I know that you're really doing great work there. And um, I think there's a part of you as well. Um, so your friend is showing me that there's a part of you that's afraid in a way to cross a line and it's a little bit like I don't want to step in too much, but she's saying, please do. You have her absolute permission, her absolute gratitude, and she's saying, do whatever you can do. And I know that you do it, but there's that part of you that holds back a little bit because you're saying, I'm not their mum, but you almost are their yep. mum. Yep. So she just wants to bring you that great sense of love and that great sense of gratitude for what you're doing. Um and she, she really brings me this thing of don't do too much as well and make sure that you, because you, you, you're someone that doesn't stop, you know, you will keep going and going and going. She doesn't want that for you. She doesn't want you to wear yourself okay. out in this process. Um, and I feel like you were there with her in the hospital. You know, I get this strong sense of you being around her. Um, and, and I get a strong sense of you wanting to protect those children as well. In a big way. Yeah. Yeah. So, so a lot of gratitude there. Um, okay. Now, is it is it there someone that's got a problem with their sight at the moment as well? Um, I've recently got glasses, and I have to wear them all the time now. Yeah. Okay. She's just making me aware of that too. Um, and, and the other feeling is that at times you need to just sit down, just rest, just let go. Because in a way you try so hard, she's so grateful for that, that you know, of all what you do. But in your life generally you're doing that as well. And is, is there also an energy of you, I mean, are these children quite young? So... Um, the youngest is 14. Yeah, okay. And that, that's the little girl, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because I know, um, so, so I'm very, uh, again, I'm very drawn to these angel wings. I get almost like a necklace or a bracelet that's like one angel wing and another angel wing. Do you know the kind I mean where there's like two two parts of a whole? Yeah, um, she gives a guardian angel. Yeah, okay. Yes, because I just, it's almost like I'm seeing that, that there's a, a, a necklace that's got half a wing and half a wing and you sort of exchange those. So let, let her know, um, that her mum is there around her, is with her, very, um, very proud of what she's doing because I feel like that little girl is also very much a helper of other people. Um, yes, yes, she is. Yeah, and I feel like she would like to eventually, because I know that there's somewhere in this mix there's nursing. There's something there about nursing. So if that little girl wants to do that as her profession later on, it's just to encourage her with that, because I know it's important. Uh -huh. um, now, also with your friend, what's her name? I can't get the name, so I'll just share with Carrie. Sorry? Kerry? Okay. Kerry, well, Kerry yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I get that, yeah. Um, okay, so Kerry, Kerry, what else? Um, she, okay, she just sort of, I feel like she would have had this amazing sense of humour as well um, yeah. and would have probably uh, been, it's, it's almost like this self-effacing humour, you know, and what I mean by that is she would make fun of herself a lot, you know, and okay, always... Yep. 
Yeah, big time, big time. And I don't know whether, but I just got this image. I don't know whether she had, I have very crooked front tooth. Um, and when I lived in Vanuatu, the women used to have been missing a front tooth, and I'm very drawn to that. So was there a, something around her teeth that was different or, or interesting? She had false teeth. Okay, all right. So that makes complete sense to me then with what I'm, you know, because yep. it's all like charades when we see this, because she makes me very aware of that. And it's almost like it doesn't matter, I'm still beautiful. And, and I feel like, you know, where she is now, she's just feeling that. She's feeling beautiful, she's feeling free. And all of the pain that she did go through, and I know that she did go through a lot, and I know that, that it really affected her ability to communicate at the end because I'm feeling yeah. it really in my mind as well. So I know that she's saying that all of that is gone, that she's in a really great space, and that she's just really doing that sort of um, beautiful happy dance in a way, because I feel like she would have had a happy dance kind of thing that she did as well. It's a little bit like this yes, is my happy is. dance. Yep. Yeah, so she's doing a happy dance there. She's saying, you know, great friendship. She, she really wants to say that, you know, to you, that you were someone that really, really, really helped her, and she's very grateful for it. Sends lots of love to her daughter, lots of love to, you know, the rest of the family, but just to know that, you know, um, her wisdom is still there, and she's still whispering in people's ears, so to listen for that. Um, and is yep. there a date around the 17th of August that's also relevant? Um, I'm having my 40th birthday on the 19th. Oh, beautiful. Well, she's making me very aware around that date that there's lots of celebration and she wants it to be a celebration. So, no, yep. you know, because it is around the time of her passing. She doesn't want it to be sad. She wants it to be amazing. So, wish you well, yep. Kathy, and um, thank you for coming on the show. And that is the show for this week. So, we'll say amazing how spirit works because yeah i got this message before that it was to be about celebration it was to be about friendship and it was to be about bringing balance and harmony in so spirit never let us down and we just have to learn to trust learn to believe to learn to let all of that gorgeous energy into our lives so i wish you very well and i will see you here next week on a1r psychic radio for another great show thanks again to dave my producer and to all of you for coming on so see you next week